Viewer discretion is advised. Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay heads to Long Beach, California to save a 54-year-old family restaurant. Hello, my name's Nino. That is under the misguided leadership of the oldest son, Nino, who refuses to listen to anyone. I'm living in a fantasy world. I think you're in a fantasy world by the way you act here. Not his brother. Stop being angry. I'm not being angry. Just please stand up. Not his sister. You need to be in charge. That's not true. Or even Chef Ramsay. You just trying to act like a idiot. You sound like a idiot yourself. I sound like an idiot. His 78-year-old mother is desperate for Nino to step up. Nino tells me he has no power because you won't let him. That's not true. But when Chef Ramsay points out the problems, you are not in a position to take responsibility for anything. Nino has an excuse for everything. They're freaking liars. Find out tonight if Chef Ramsay can get through to this stubborn manager. It doesn't even feel like it's family run. You are being entirely unfair and dishonest. And save this feuding family. I'm not scared of you. Are you threatening me? I'm not a person that's scared. Would you want to fight? From closing the doors of the restaurant for good. You could lie about anything. Don't talk to me like that. He's going out the door. What is that? You're serving rotten food. We can possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> Shut the place down. Get out of here! That is amazing. Thank you, Thank you, Chef. Long Beach, California, an oceanside community located 20 miles south of Los Angeles. Nestled in the heart of this vibrant city is Nino's, a family-run restaurant opened in 1958 by immigrants Inga and Vincenzo. When we got to America, Vincenzo wanted to open a restaurant, and that was his dream. How are you doing tonight? Well, yourself? Welcome to Nino's. I ran the outside, he ran the kitchen. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun, too. We had a great time. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. My dad ran a restaurant with an iron fist, and we were the best that you could be. <laughs> it's hard now because he's 88. He's on the onset of dementia, and uh, in the last several years has separated himself from the restaurant. Who's taking table 11? I have no idea. Do you have table 11? Ever since my dad retired, my brother Nino is supposed to be the restaurant manager. All I can say is, he's the worst employee here. He loves to run up to tables and go, Hi, I'm Nino. Thinks he owns this place, and he's because his name Nino's. However, my dad has told him, Jack in the Box, the owner no be named Jack. Pick up table six, please. I'm really quite tired. I didn't sleep last night. Terrific, thank you. Nino works here, we pay him, but basically he does very little. He sits in the office and watches TV. If he wouldn't be our son, he wouldn't be working here. How's table 11 coming along? They're almost ready. Because my brother sits around a lot and doesn't do anything, my sister Karina and I have helped throughout the years substantially. We found a hand in our food. And you bust to put it there. No, I have hair great, dude. I don't have any hair. You know, you're making it worse. They're liars. No, they're not. My brother's 60 years old, and he acts like he's 12. That was inappropriate, what you just did. This is my parents' legacy, and he's going to run this restaurant into the ground. You're a lying sack of I got a brother and sister. They think they got better ideas. My brother and sister asked Chef Ramsay to come without consulting me. And I have an ill feeling about it. We are we so leaving. Forever. I mean, is he that detached from reality that he doesn't see how much mom is suffering? They're freaking liars. This is a woman who always pays her bills on time, and she's having to take money out of the retirement to pay for this restaurant to keep it going. I made a promise to my husband, Vincenzo, that I would keep this restaurant going, but some night you have 10, 12 people coming. That doesn't do it. The last thing I want to do is close the doors. We put a lot of love. We put a lot of love in this place. I'm at Nino's Italian restaurant, which is owned by one family for 54 years. And in the restaurant business, that is unbelievable. 
Sadly, things have gone horribly wrong over the last couple of years. I'm about to find out why. Beyond. Well, I feel like I'm back in 1958. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm very well. Nice to see you. My name is Inga. Inga. I'm not very Italian. No, I'm from Germany. From Germany. My husband is the Italian. I see. Your husband's Nino. Nino is actually the son. So there's you and your son, all running the business. And uh, Karina and Mike, they're right. also my kids, and they're here right. many times. And how about your husband? He's kind of retired. It'd be nice to meet the family. Can we get everybody together oh, and sure. have a chat? Everybody for a catch -up? is in the bag. There's Mike. This is the baby, right? No, no Karina is the baby. Hi, yeah. I'm Karina. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Likewise. And this is I'm Nino. Nino, good nice to, see to meet you. Likewise. So you're the oldest. Yes, I am. I'm the one that's going to be 60 pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to catch up with all of you now. Let's okay. go somewhere a bit quieter. My brother Nino tells everybody how hard he works and that he runs this restaurant. I I'm sorry, Nino. He's not going to swallow your BS for one second. So how good is the food? How would you rate it out of 10, Nino? 10. A 10? Wow. Yes. Karina. I would have to rate it as a seven. So, Michael, what would you give the food? I would give it an eight. So the food's good, that's great. And what's your role? I really don't work here all the time. I have my own career, right? as my sister does. Uh, I help out whenever my mom calls. I'm Johnny on the spot. Nino, the restaurant's named after you. What's your role? The, the person that's always been in charge was my dad. And then when, when he developed his Alzheimer's, I stepped up in this business. Wow. What do you mean? I, I get here early. I, I do uh, the remedial things as janitorial, Good. vacuuming, cleaning of all these plates, and cleaning the restrooms, scrubbing the toilets, washing the patio. That's just from 8 until about 4, maybe. Weekends, usually, I'll come in for uh, extensive cleaning. Sounds like you do a lot of cleaning. Cleaning? What are you talking about? The restaurant is a mess. <laughs> Take away the cleaning. What else do you do? Karina, um, help me out. There's no key person. There's no one really directing the kitchen on how the portion should be, how the quality needs to be consistent. You know, you need to be working in the kitchen. When I worked here I, and Mike worked here, we jumped in the kitchen. They don't want me in there. Who? The chefs. The chefs? They're very adamant about uh, uh, keeping that kitchen to themselves. It sounds like you put over a barrel now. It's like everybody's kind of running the restaurant. I thought Nino was running it. <laughs> <laughs> not really, no. That's not true. But Nino's here. Nino isn't here. He's here at lunch. So he doesn't run dinner. Are you here for dinner? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand why you're not here. Lunch and dinner. It's something my mom and I are constantly frustrated with. Nino's doing everything half-assed. And so Mike and I have to come in and help the family. At wow, I mean, it <laughs> doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You irritates the crap out of me. He spends a lot of time sitting down with customers. I mean, not just visiting, promoting the business, sitting down and talking for long periods of time in the middle of lunch. And he's the only restaurant manager I think you'll find anywhere that has lunch at lunchtime. He spends a lot of time in the office watching TV. This is not even true. He's not it's here. Not true? He's not here at 8 in the morning when I get here. Why would I come here at 8 That's in the morning? That's a fantasy. I watch TV. The television here is 40 years old, and I have a uh, high def at home with all the all the channels I need. Why wouldn't I just stay there? I so get here. Tell people you're working. Because nobody's here, so you can say whatever you're doing, right? Stretching the truth. It is not. <laughs> My brother never tells the truth. <laughs> Coming from a pathological liar, I take I, that as a compliment. <laughs> he thinks I'm, I'm some kind of nut because I, I, I'm in a recovery program. It has nothing but to do I'm with not, that. It has I, nothing to do with that. You're just he, a liar. He, he thinks we're just, all uh, living in a fantasy world, according I never to him. No. I think you're in a fantasy world by the way you act here. My honest feeling it is he doesn't do crap here. He does a lot of sick. I'm talking. He makes everybody believe he does crap. Just like last night, he ran up to every table and said, Hello, my name's Nino. That's not true. Nino, please. Would you let me talk? Mr. O was talking. I see that all the time. And that's why I kind of stay back from here, because I love this damn restaurant. And to see it just being... Run down drives me freaking crazy. To my opinion, he doesn't do crap. My mom will admit it. My dad will admit it. My sister will admit it. But I will come out and say it passionately. Doesn't do crap.
While the family and Nino are in complete disagreement over his effectiveness as a manager. Thank you. Thank you. They were all in agreement that the food at Nino's is good. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Yeah, nice to see you. Are those brothers always butting heads like that? Are they always arguing? Yes, they are. Wow. Um, is that a spelling mistake on there? Egg, plant, as in two separate words? Yeah. It is. Shouldn't they be sort of joined? Yes. And I noticed this one as well down here. One meat ball. <laughs> Did they not know they're going to be like, it's one word, meat ball? <laughs> Honestly. Um, do you know what? I'll go for one meat ball, okay. uh, one egg plant, and okay. team counter. OK. Thank you. Got it. Excellent. Michael, um, listen. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate your honesty. And I know it's hard, but well, I, I feel like someone's blown smoke on my ass. My brother's full I'd be surprised if he worked two hours a day. And that, I, that's pushing it. Would you not feel guilty of your mum working twice as hard as you? Yeah, she worked day and night. That's what I'm saying. Why is he not here helping her? He doesn't have another job. He complains about not having money, not taking a vacation. Either come here at night or get another job. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> no. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay, Gordon. You sure? I just ask before you make any judgments. I'm not making any judgments on you at all. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm listening. Nobody's here at 8 in the morning when I'm here. And, and, and there, is, there is a job that's endeavor. I mean, all the way, you know, and I, I get back behind here, you know. I get underneath there, I get the plates, I get up there. And, and um, it doesn't take that long. It, it takes about an just, hour or so. My knees and then I, I start doing the prep work. It, it's just a. What is that? It's just stuck to my jeans. No. Oh my gosh. See, have a look at that under there. Oh my gosh. How many bits of gum are there? There is uh, four pieces of gum. So you do all this cleaning. I haven't looked down there. I don't think you should do that during the business hours in front what of time, customers. What time would you like me to do it? Uh, come here at 8 in the morning with me. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be there with you at tomorrow morning? And I wouldn't do that in your restaurant either. Hey, you wouldn't find gum under my tables. <laughs> Nino is a ball of excuses. He's just wacko. God, this full of cobwebs. Bloody hell. Didn't get to that one. Bloody hell. Definitely didn't get to that one. Everybody else was done, right? Yeah. Right. Have you seen the size of that cobweb there? Have you seen that? That's dust. That, no, that's the cobweb. Didn't see it without the lighting. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. How often do you clean? Every day? I, you know, this is something that, that takes a lot of consideration. I, I, you know, you can be on this here for months. I start at one end and then finish at the other end and then I come back. On this and... one? Oh, God. This is the eight in the morning effect. Five days a week for years. Bloody hell. Is there a bathroom nearby? Can we wash my hands? Yes, sir. He should have shut up about cleaning. I don't know what he's cleaning, but I wouldn't hire him at my house. I promise you that. Oh, what are the pictures of? These are me cleaning and pulling down all the all the bottles, every single bottle. I, I've never seen pictures of cleaning. That's the first for me. Well, that's because my brother's always questioning that I do it. I don't know in the first place why he took pictures. If it's clean, you don't have to prove it with pictures. You see it, right? <laughs> this is a chicken piccata. It's a lemon with capers and mushrooms. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. How do you like this one? Dreadful. No? Chicken's all floury, slimy. OK. Come over, Nina. So I just had to make them. Just, 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 just touch, touch that. It's all I, I, I'm not going to touch it with my finger. No, no all, what I'm trying to say is it's all soggy and floury. So it's well, I mean, I'll do something like that in the kitchen, but not in the dining area. That wouldn't be appropriate. Well, I wouldn't touch food. Listen, food. listen. You sit me on a table full of gum. I've got cobwebs coming out of my earlobes, and now I'm asking you to touch something floury. And you say, I wouldn't do this in the dining room. All of a sudden, you've got this level of concern. Yes, I do. Because that's food right there, and you want me to touch it. This is food that you've given 10 what out am of I 10. Supposed to, what am I supposed to I want you to be honest with yourself and stop around. I'm not around. Ready to get real. The chicken is slimy and furry. It's got raw flour on the outside. You refuse to accept it because you're in the land of nod. <laughs> Chef Ramsay is sounding like an ass. Too much flour and it has no flavor and it's a very delicate 
chicken and it's delicious. He said the piccata was disgusting. This guy is disgusting. Oh, and that's my one meatball. This is your one meatball. I says, thank you. That tastes 54 years old. Mush, disgusting, and just dreadful. Nino, come on. You rated the food on a 10. So far, what I've tasted, I'm embarrassed. That's too bad. The meatball, soggy, bland, and just hideous with a salty marinara sauce. It's a matter of taste. Say that again? It's a matter of taste. That's not a matter of taste. When was that made? Two days ago. Really? I saw him make it. Right. Can you have a word with the chef? I know you're scared of them, but ask I'm him. I'm not scared of them, and I'm not scared of you. What's that supposed to mean? You threatening me? I'm not a, I'm not a person that's scared, so don't use that word, please. I ask oh, you to step know. up, take some form of responsibility, and go in there and ask him. So, are you going to let me continue eating, or do you want to, what, do you want to fight? A confrontation? If we're talking about something physical, can you, no. Can you leave me alone, let me finish my lunch? Yes, I will. And if you find the balls to go and ask your chef when he made the meatballs, it would be greatly appreciative. By the way, there's dirty bottles above the fish tank. Wow. Valentina, when did you make those meatballs? That's right. That's unbelievable. Friday. I find that hard to believe. Because today is Tuesday. That couldn't be. That couldn't possibly be. <sighs> Thank you. And this is the... Uh... This is the eggplant? Wow. Thank you very much. You're good. He made them this weekend, on Friday. He made them on Friday? Yes, he did. And today's Tuesday? Yes, it is. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Unbelievable. We've been selling this sauce for 54 years. Yeah. And, and we couldn't possibly have this restaurant and have all the success if we didn't make a good sauce and a good meatball. You are in denial. No. <laughs> I'm not. Me and blowing smoke up my ass, telling me working there eight hours a day cleaning. Telling me that food is great, people love it. I am myself. But the then chef, you need to wear diapers. The... You shouldn't be on yourself. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you just trying to act like an idiot to make no, yourself I'm not. sound I'm better? Not a idiot. Well, then stop sounding like you one. You sound like a idiot yourself. I sound like an idiot. You used the word. Yeah, so I brought it I just, back to you. Okay. I think that's right. that's kind of gross. We need to calm right. down. Unbelievable. Now I know the problem in this restaurant. Yeah. I'm staring at uh, it. And I'm, I'm staring at it as well. To be honest, I really don't know what's in Nino's head. Are we done? It's almost like he's completely mentally unstable. I'd like to have a quick catch up with you, Mum, Karina, and your brother. Okay. Let's uh, let's go next door. Um, I'm lost for words. Honestly, I'm depressed. Dish after dish was a disappointment. And then you rate the food. 10 out of 10, perfect. It's the best of times we would have ever had. I have a lot of friends that come here and eat. Your circle of friends isn't keeping the business afloat. Let's get that right. And let me tell you something. The chicken piccati. Chicken was furry and slimy. The meatball we discovered was made five freaking days ago. But for some bizarre reason, you're convincing yourself that everything's fine. <laughs> what you have proven to me is that you are not in a position to take responsibility for anything except cleaning. For the first 40 minutes of meeting you, all you told me about was the cleaning. You're in denial, you're refusing to listen to the negative feedback regarding the food, and yet you've got pictures of yourself cleaning the place. Hello? I didn't take those pictures. You were happy to show them to me. Well, you, you, you're indicating that I don't do anything. Cleaning is basic, like drinking water and breathing air. And that is not management. Nina, there's the lady there that's got all the weight on her shoulders. And I don't know when you're thinking of getting responsible, but let me give you some piece of advice. Hurry up, will you? <laughs> um, I'm just saddened, I think, really, because it doesn't even feel like it's family run. Um, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm sorry. I really got the sense that he came in here and I'm his target. He's 100% right. 
You're the biggest problem here, and if mom could initiate your early retirement, it would be the best thing. Okay. You are being entirely unfair and dishonest about this. I can't stand seeing this place run like crap. This fighting has to stop. Okay, well, then I can't come because I can't stand watching it. It's not Maybe just... you're taking nerve pills or okay. something. I don't know. I can't take it. I don't it. take nerve pills. Okay, but I Never. can't take it. Why are you yelling know, at your mother? Because you're saying the fighting like, like I come in here just to fight. No. I come in here. You two fighting. You need to talk. You yes. need to talk. So maybe we stop saying the you word fighting. We're just a couple cats and dogs. We, That's what it sounds like to me. Chef Ramsey, he said, this is not a family. And I know it's not a family. Okay. Ciao, arrivederci. Chef Ramsey has quickly identified the two biggest problems of the restaurant, Nino and the food. But he's about to learn a whole lot more as he watches how this kitchen functions during a dinner service. What, uh, what is that? Lasagna. That's lasagna. Well, if that's a lasagna, then I'm the Pope. When was it made? Last Friday, no? Last Friday. Wow. This is really weird. Very weird indeed. Oh, man. What is that? Is this chicken? I thought it was lard. It's not, it's chicken. Wow, it's all dry. Bloody hell. Can you get me Nina, please? <sighs> Nina. That's chicken. Yeah, can I have a little taste? All right, all right, all right, all right. It's dry, bland, and it's just been reheated now for your pasta dishes. Yeah, sure. I like the taste. That is not the way to cook. Right. I believe Chef Ramsey may have exaggerated. It almost sounded like it was unsalvageable. Throw that away, please, yeah? I don't even want that saved for a dog. OK. You have the cauliflower pancakes? This is yours. As the dishes leave the kitchen reasonably quick, <laughs> complaints from customers are almost immediate. Look at this, though. Like, this is supposed to be the breading, I think. This is no good. Look at that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna send this back. Sure, let me take the I'm sorry for that. Let's me take it. Way too much grease. Oh no, what's wrong with that? That has oh. You are kidding me. What is that? Come on, guys. This is an example of Nino not knowing how to manage this restaurant. He should be in the kitchen making sure that our food quality is consistent. Where's Nino? Helping the yes. kitchen. That's what you need to do. I haven't eaten anything all day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he was eating dinner with my mom and dad out front. We should be working, but... Yeah. If he had the initiative, the assertiveness to take over, we wouldn't be in this situation. So Nino just continually stands there, and that's the frustrating thing right now, because I look and he's like in my right per fill at all times. And you've got your poor 78-year-old mother standing out the front, yes, clinging please. on. Got a mess in here. Ugh, oh, mushrooms and my god. Are they the meatballs? Yeah. Where are they from? Uh Friday. Friday. These are from Friday as well? Mm-hmm. Look at it. How old is that to go that colour? You know, I have a feeling if I asked somebody, they'd say, no doubt, from Friday. When was it made? How old is that? It's uh, from Friday. Friday again. Busy day, Friday. Have you seen inside your refrigeration? Yes, absolutely. We actually do a full, full thorough cleaning every night. Have you got two minutes? Yes, sir. Just look down there, the back there. Yeah, there's some product on the ground. Uh, so what on the ground? Mushrooms. Yeah, there is. And have you any idea? No, this is this is here. This is just left there. My God, what's that? It's pepper. You've been serving this all night. It's not even scaled. You're the man that gave me 10 out of 10. Come on, then. Right. I don't know what to say. Right. 
While Nino says he takes great pride in the cleanliness of the restaurant. What's this? Chef Ramsay discovers another horror story in the walk-in. That is rancid. How long does a red pepper take before it goes that rotten? Just smell that. They can go fast. They can what? They can go faster than you expect. How would you feel if your customers saw that? That's what I'm trying to say to you. All right. That would, I mean, I'm sorry it's there, but we wouldn't take that and, and serve it to somebody. No, but what I'm trying to say is that signifies how this whole business is run. I'll give them on that refrigerator. I'm horribly disappointed about it, but uh, it's impossible to do everything properly. You're not doing your job to the best of the ability that's necessary to run this business. If you want to say that, that's, I'm, I'm sure that's your prerogative. It's not my prerogative. I'm watching it. I'm watching you doing it by the minutes. I, I don't have the authority to assert myself. And you when I ask do, somebody, you know. They, you do. You just okay. never have. Your mum wants you to step up. I'm so confused. She wants you to do it. Uh, You're nearly 60. Is that true, what you just told me? He has no power, because you won't let him. That's not true. That's not the way it is, Nino. Why do you tell stories like that? How many times have I gone in there and tried to, to, to when assert is myself? It, when is it two or three years ago? I had to go into hospital. You were completely out drunk. I, I had a yeah. relapse so. and ended up in the hospital. What I saw was so disgusting. I had to hold him down in the emergency room. You know, they had to put him in, in, in restraints. And I made a bad decision. She still has a resentment about it, and I don't know what I can do about it. Do me a favor. Yeah. I need to spend two minutes with your mother now. All right. Yeah. I feel for you. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Mm-hmm. He almost died. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are you holding it against him? Or is it down to the actual work and commitment? I That's think it's the work and commitment. Is he lazy? What is it? Yeah. I am here to help you. You must understand that. Yeah, yeah. Can we meet first thing tomorrow morning? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. As Chef Ramsay has made a commitment to Inga to help save the restaurant. Good morning, my darling. Good morning. He knows his next step is to make sure that Nino is committed to changing his ways. So this morning, he fills Inga in on his plan. Right now, Nino thinks every day that this restaurant's not going to close because you're going to continue funding it. Mm -hmm. If he starts to understand that you've had enough, that may wake this guy up. Mm -hmm. So here's the plan. I'm going to board up the whole front of this restaurant. So it looks like the business is closed. I'll be hiding around the corner, I'll be around there, and I want to hear what he has to say to his mother when you say, I'm shutting it down. It's about him showing you hunger. What he can do, that what he, he can, can do. do it. Exactly that. You with me? Yeah. Perfect. this morning and I decided to close that business. I cannot do it anymore. It doesn't work. Is that what you think? Yeah. All right. Fine. Is that all you have to say? Well, Mom, it's your restaurant. You're the one that has a decision on this. But I think we should stay, keep it open. That's my personal opinion. 
I, I, I don't want to give up. I know we can hold out and do it. I cannot put any more money in this place. I'm willing to fight to keep this restaurant open. Do you have some suggestion how we can do that? We have an expert in the restaurant business. We can ask him. You really want to do it? Yes, absolutely. Hi, <laughs> Chef Ramsey. Hi, how you doing? So, 54 years in the making. Mm -hmm. And the business is on the brink of closure. You're part of that failure. Yeah. Do you understand what that means? Yes, I do, Chef. It's got to come from you, Nino. I'm willing to commit. Take control, Nino. I shall. No more excuses. Just be on top of everything. I'm willing, Mom. The business is going to have to become a new priority. Number one. Number one. At this point, I believe Nino really wants to turn his life around, and he wants to do what's best for the restaurant and the family. While Nino says he's committed to change, how are you doing? Chef Ramsey feels it's important that he shares this news with his brother and his sister. OK. The lack of commitment with Nino has been going on for far too long. And your mother stepped up and told him, I've had enough. And Nino, to his credit, turned around and said, Mum, I want to do this. I'm committed. Yes. I don't believe that. Nino, you've been in denial for a long time what your responsibilities have been. You made so many promises to all of us over your life. And this time, sure. you need to be in charge. He's committed to that this morning, and this is the new Nino. Maybe for three, four weeks, but then he'll revert back to the old Nino. I, I'm asking, let's get out of the past. What is it we can do from this point to move forward and treat each other with decency and walk away sh shaking each other's hands? OK, no more excuses, no more denial. I need you to be the big brother that you're supposed to be to this family. I'm going to be much more focused on doing things that make the business more successful. And, and that's the truth. Michael, let's go for it. Thank you. I am willing to give Nino another chance. For God's sake, he's my brother. I believe he can change, but I'm not going to make any bets on it. Now that Nino is willing to take the reins and the family is ready to move forward, Chef Ramsay gives this restaurant its first facelift in over half a century. Good morning. Good morning. Good Chef morning. Ramsay. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. Very. A lot, a lot. Right. Take off your blindfolds. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my, my God. <laughs> this is so wow. incredible. It's unbelievable. Are we in Nino's? I know there's a sign that says Nino's. <laughs> Welcome to the new Nino's. I love the lights. I love it. 50 oh my God. years in the making. <laughs> we got rid of the drab brown color. And we lighted the walls up. Yes? Thank God. Yes. Yeah. Gone are the Chianti bottles cluttering the ceiling and gathering dust. Now, we have brand new light fixtures made from old apple baskets. That's awesome. <laughs> I think it's hot. <laughs> I'm speechless seeing all of this. It's very crisp and clean looking. Welcome. Oh, oh look my gosh. gosh. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, this is amazing. Yes. Oh my god. I love this. First of all, we have decluttered this room. Yay! <laughs> painted it fresh. And these beauties here are handmade family tables. Oh, oh they're wow. beautiful. Inga, what do you think? This is the greatest thing because this reminds me of Germany. The people, they all sit on tables together and they have a wonderful time. I think it looks great. <laughs> we had the old Ninos for 54 years. It was time to freshen it up. I think with this change, we can be here for many more years. Oh, you kept our old picture up. Of course I did. <laughs> you like it, darling? I do. Oh, no, don't get upset. Come on. I'm so grateful. I don't know how to say thank you. Oh, we'd be happy. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful to you. Please. This is like a dream come true. I, I don't know how to thank you. Fall back in love with this amazing <laughs> restaurant. Definitely. I'm speechless. <laughs> and I'm really, really great. Thank you. Thank you, Gordon. 
To match the new contemporary design of the restaurant, take one menu and pass them along, please. Thank Chef Ramsay has created a rustic menu to complement it. It looks delicious. It looks like it should be in a painting. Very authentic. Oh, everything's in perfect. Now, enjoy the food. This is so Dig incredible. In. Okay. Delicious. Oh my god. Wow. Mmm. Tastes good, Chin Parmesan. Bravo. <laughs> It's relaunch night, and Chef Ramsay has a new important job for Nino, running the kitchen. You ready? Yes, sir. You're going to be expediting? Absolutely. Uh, and stay on top of it. We are not going to argue in front of the team. Yeah? Yes. This is it. Hi. Welcome on a rainy summer night. <laughs> it's so much brighter. So much ambient, so much... Uh -huh. Everything, yeah, I love it. Yeah, too. I'll try the ricotta cavatelli. That sounds good. Fire up number 15. 15. At this point, it's time to step up and finally convince Chef Ramsay that, that I can do this job, that I can expedite. Okay, deal's up, Chef. We're Thank ready. Linguini's coming Let's up go. right behind us. With Nino managing the kitchen. All right, here we go. Bam, pasta. Food is coming out at a steady pace. We have a bio. Yes. The sauce is excellent. Yeah. But as more orders come in... There you go, Nino. OK, we need to slow it up back out there. Nino is starting to get overwhelmed. Nino. Is that another one? Yes. Nino, is that right? Somebody's having a minestrone for an entree. Yes, it is. You sure? Yes. Then how can there be five entrees? All I want to do is make sure we check in well, so we don't screw the kitchen. Well, I can, I can uh, check back. He's at table 12. He'll be right back. Let's go. Nino's started getting backed up and overwhelmed, so I would do everything I could to stop it. This check just disappeared. Uh, okay, so we've got issues. Okay, I, I got it. I got okay. it. Oh, well, they, they, they want all that. They want all this at the same time. Just okay? checking. That's what we're just yeah, checking. I found out. I, I actually, Mike, I got this under control. Yeah. If well, both this, of us this are is, here, we no, this... I need a margarita pizza, Valentino, and a cheese tortellini. Hold on one second. Mike just kind of asserted himself into the line, and, and I can see that's going to be very combative. I feel like there's, you know, a war brewing at the pickup window. We're really falling behind. Okay, excuse me, you know, I can't see over your stomach. What, right. what table is this? Lasagna? You know, please don't sleep on the counter. Stand I'm up not, like this. Mike, I can't see the checks. Just relax. Just like, you know, please. Just stop being angry. I'm not being angry. Just please stand up. Posture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, have okay. to be calm. Yeah, yeah, right. I need a calamari appetizers and a veal. You got to give me table numbers, man. Sorry, you really do. You got to help me out. You're clearly on. Table 12. I can't even take this, man. Pick up table 5, cavatelli spaghetti meatball. I need a calamari pickup appetizer and a minestrone. Shut up. Don't talk to me like that, or we'll come back there and have a nice talk. You got it? He talks to me like again. He's going out the door. It's relaunch night at Nino's. I need a calamari pickup appetizer. We need 20 people talking. And Michael has pushed Nino out of the way and is trying to leave the kitchen. Mike, I got this under control. Yeah. But unfortunately, he's putting the relaunch in jeopardy. Shut up. Don't talk to me like that, or we'll come back there and have a nice talk. You got it? Hey, Mike. Come here, come here, come here. Don't blow it up. There's no point in blowing no, the whole... I don't blow up. I was coming up to try to clear the mess. Let's let, let's keep it calm. OK, very okay. good. I'm calm as a cucumber right now. Sure. Why don't you go outside and get some fresh air? You got it. Nina, table's fired. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Right now, Anthony needs you here on the whole place. Exactly. Yeah, head chef, expediter. Right. You've got to stay like that. Exactly. Okay. I need a calamari for five. I need a calamari for eight. Excellent. Let's go. Order up. Michael. Yeah. Can I have a word, please? Don't let this spoil tonight. Just take a big deep breath. I can't turn off my emotions like that. I'm, I'm not, not asking it's not you a to, but switch. you're de letting that just spoil the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not here and your brother pisses you off, you've got to show some form of control. That's all. Control. Don't let it spoil the night. Yeah, OK. I appreciate it. I'm waiting for table two whenever we're ready. Here we go. Fire the lasagna. Okay, I'm going to take this to table 12. You got it. Thank you. Here's your calamari you needed. Thank you. Right. Calamari. 
Everything's going well right now. You're doing good. And the steak. It's really good. It's very good. This is everything I'd ever wanted for our restaurant and hoped for. I'm so overjoyed. It's it's surreal right now. Did you already get that, number seven? Spaghetti meatball. They don't finish. Finish. I can't remember the last time Nino worked that hard. I hope we're going to be here many more years, including me. <laughs> Just with a little less work. That's the last ticket out. Good. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Let me tell you, that wasn't a perfect evening, but thinking that nothing's been changed for 54 years, it was never going to be perfect. Let's be honest. Yeah. Nina, you didn't disappear. You stood there and took it. Well done. Thank you. I think you did a remarkable thing for us, and uh, I want this to work 100% with all my fiber. You stick with it. And Michael, how would you sum up tonight? It was just very confusing. You know, it's a new look, new menu. You know, we'll see what our, what our regular customers think, too. But I can't speak for them. Sure. Do you want it to work? Yes, I do. Yeah? I'm unconvinced you actually want to change, let me tell you. Well... I gotta go. Tragic. Uh, this has been the best day of our family's life, and um, Mike is being a complete it's really disappointing to see him walking out and being so ungrateful. I hope my family could get behind all this change and really support it. I'm hoping too. Look after yourselves, will you please? And look after each other. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, you. thank you so much. Bye, <laughs> Mom. Thank Bye. you. Good night. <sighs> when this restaurant started, there was no internet. Man had not landed on the moon. And there was no such thing as a color TV. But there was Nino's, and the only way this restaurant can continue is if the family put the past behind them. I'm not sure if they can, but I'm really hoping they can do so. Wow, Nino, he can clean and take photographs as well. In the weeks that followed, although Michael distanced himself from the restaurant, the rest of the family has stepped up. Fire up nine yeah. and seven and the fireplace. Nina was working harder and is taking on more responsibilities. But the task of running the business on a day-to-day -day basis still falls on Inga's shoulders. You enjoyed the pizza? Yeah. Oh, great. And despite her full-time job... I do want us to just all work together. Karina has increased her presence at Nino's in hopes that the 54-year-old family restaurant will live on as a legacy for generations to come. Next time on Kitchen Nightmares. Go, 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 go. Gordon meets an owner who runs his business like a dictator. Just do what you do. I don't care what he says. And his staff are at their wit's end. The way you treat me is disrespectful, crude. Then you need to find another place to work. Chef Ramsay finds himself in a war with an owner so arrogant. You're talking now. And so resistant to change. Wake up! You wake up! This restaurant just might be impossible to save. You want me out of there? I'm going to leave. Good. We're more connected than you know. An all-new touch is next on Fox.